Hello and welcome to this setup tutorial for the board game Origins First Builders. If you'd also like to know how to play this, then I have a separate video for that. First, let's get it ready on the table. I'll be setting it up for two players. Start by placing the game board in the middle of all players. Make sure the small holes here have been punched out because that's where these spaceships will go. To decide which goes where, you use these small boards of the same colors. Shuffle them and then place them randomly on these spaces here. Keep them face up because each little board shows a bonus action. When you're done, place each spaceship under the board of the same color. Just push its base into the little hole. Another thing you need to do is set each spaceship facing the arrow on the board with the number 1. Each spaceship has numbers on them. It's hard to see them from a distance. Here they are. This is the arrow on the board. Turn each ship so that has it has the number 1 lined up with the arrow. Next, take out this small deck of cards that has all the zodiac signs on it. Shuffle it and then place three random cards face up on these spaces. The rest of the cards can go back in the box. You also have small boards with all the zodiac signs on them. Take the same three as these cards and place each board above the matching sign. This is the sign. So I place this board. And same goes for the other two. The rest of these boards can go out of the game. Then we have these spaces on the board in this shape and these colors. We have tiles in that shape and those colors. Here they are. Shuffle each stack. The rule book says you're supposed to place each stack face down. But since you immediately flip over the top tile as soon as you take one, you might as well keep each stack face up from the beginning. Just don't peek at which tile is underneath the top one. To save time, I'll skip shuffling the other stacks. When you're done, take the top tile from each stack, one from each color. Shuffle those five tiles and then place them face up on these spaces next to the stacks. Go from top to bottom. Alright, time to put some things next to the game board. We've got food, stone, some parchment that is called wisdom, and gold. Make a supply of these tokens somewhere. You also have these black tokens with a blue circle. Stack them up and place them close by. And four of these 100 tokens for whenever a player has gone all around the scoring track. More cards. These ones showing some towers on them. Shuffle them. I'm setting it up for two players, so I place four cards face up next to the board. If I were with three players, I would add one more card. For four players, it would be six cards in total. You don't need the rest of these cards. With the cards come the discs. Take out these little discs that have the same colors as the spaceships. Place one disc on each color of the same space on the board here. 
Then look at the towers on the cards that were just placed. For each color that you see, you add one disc of the same color on the board. For example, I see these yellow towers, so I add that many yellow discs to the board. Do this for all colors. When you're done, give one set of discs to each player, one of each color. Everyone gets a set. After that, the remaining discs can go back in the box. Each player can also take one of each resource, one food, one stone, one wisdom and one gold. As long as we're taking things for players, everyone can take a player board. I'll take this one and place it in front of me. Pick a color, I'll go for green, and take all the green items. I've got my green plastic figure that goes here. Some green bases. Two of those go up here, and the other four go into these spaces on my own board. And finally, I've got some green discs. One goes on the bottom of the scoring track. Every player starts the game with zero points. One on the bottom of each zodiac track here. I've got one left, I'll save that for the end. Every player also gets a set of these grey tiles, the Agora. Place that to the right of your player board. And the Palace. Place that under the Agora. You can see it has colors on it, because that's where the little set of discs goes. Each player does this. You also have this little information card that's also an indicator for when you have passed. Keep that to the left of your player board. Almost there. We have dice and they're the most important things to use during the game. Start with the white ones. I'm with two players so I use two white dice. Roll them and then place them on these spaces here. Make sure none of the dice have been rolled as a six. Then you roll again. No sixes allowed. And finally, all the other dice. They come in the familiar colors. I have no trouble seeing colors. If you do, I hope you can tell the difference. Make a supply of the dice next to the game board. If you are with four players, then this is fine as it is. If you're with three people, remove one die from each color. I'm setting it up for two, so I remove two dice of each color. Then, take one die of each color and roll them. Again, if you roll a six, you have to re-roll it. No dice with a 6 on the board. When you're done, place the dice on these spaces on the board. Go from left to right, use the die with the lowest number and then go up. In case one or more dice show the same number, then the priority goes to the color that is the furthest to the bottom on this track of tiles here. The color that is the furthest down goes first. Finally, it's time to pick a first player. I get this token for that. And I get to place the last green disc on the lowest space of this track in the arena. Going clockwise, other players place their disc on top of mine. 
end this setup by rolling two dice of each color. Take them from the supply. Again, if you roll a six, give it another go. A six is not allowed. When you're done, each player gets to pick one die. I'm first player, so I get first pick. I choose this die with the low number and place it in the base next to my own player board. Then go clockwise around the table. When everyone has chosen one die, you go counterclockwise around the table to pick a second die. Last player goes first, and you end at the first player. I get last choice, I choose this one, and put it in the other base like this. The rest of the, these dice can go back into the supply. I almost forgot something. The cards with the towers on them get two gold tokens to go with each card. Just place two gold tokens next to them. It took a while, but we're there. This is how you set up Origins first building builders. Explaining the game won't take much longer. It's not that heavy. In case you're interested, follow me to the tutorial. Thank you for watching. Feel free to leave a comment and see you for the next one.